Hello everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 legit hidden features on Samsung Galaxy smartphones that you didn't know of. Also, if you like these kind of tutorials, then make sure to subscribe. I've got plenty of videos on Samsung devices. And I'll be using the Galaxy Note 10 Plus to demonstrate, but as long as your phone is running One UI 3.1, you should have all these features. Oh, and time code and wallpaper links are in the video description. Okay, so let's start. If you want to record a video, it usually takes around 2 to 3 seconds for the camera to get ready. So you will launch the camera, change the camera mode from photo to video, and then hit the record button. And during this time, you might miss out that special moment that you want to capture. So to speed up the video recording process and cut down on additional step of changing the camera mode from photo to video, you can actually add the video mode shortcut directly to the home screen. How do you do this? Well, long press the camera icon and you will see two options, video and photo. Just drag and drop the video shortcut onto your home screen just like this. Tap on the icon and start recording. It barely takes less than one second. So with this little shortcut, you can speed up the video recording process so you don't miss that special moment that you want to capture. And you can do the same with the photo mode. Drag and drop the shortcut onto your home screen. So this will take you to the photo mode and this will take you to the video mode. Awesome, right? And this shortcut feature that I showed you is not just limited to the camera. You can do this for a whole bunch of applications that are on your phone. So for example, if I long press the YouTube icons, there are three shortcuts that you can create. So I can drag and drop the subscription shortcut over here. And this takes me directly to my subscriptions. So yeah, this is a super useful feature of the Samsung launcher. Check this out. You can also have a create new contact shortcut right on your home screen. Tapping this will take you directly to the page where you can add a new contact. So that is super useful. The usual way of adding widgets to the home screen is by pinching in, then going to widgets and searching from this list. But did you guys know that if an application supports a widget, you can add its widget directly from the application icon. And the way you can do this is by long pressing an icon, then select widget and add a widget from over here and as you can see that adds a widget to the home screen so this is the alternate way of adding widgets to the home screen all right so here's an amazing tip for you guys if you want to search for some particular image in the gallery so for example i want to search for pictures of this particular flower and i already know that this is hibiscus flower so what i can do is open up the app drawer tap on the search bar and then type in the name of the flower which is hibiscus and then tap on show more and as you can see this shows me all of the photos and videos of that particular flower in the gallery i can also do the same if i want to search for images of dogs for example let's type in labrador then tap on show more as you can see it shows me all of the pictures of labradors in the gallery now what if I type in computer? Let's see if the phone can search pictures of computer in the gallery. Show more. Wow, so there you have it. So the phone actually knows this is a picture of a computer. So this is how you can search for pictures in the gallery using the main search engine of the phone. This is such an amazing feature, right? The phone also comes with a built-in document scanner. It kind of eliminates the need of manually cropping the photo after you have taken a picture of a document. So how do you enable document scanner? Well, open up the camera, then go to settings, tap on scene optimizer and make sure document scan is enabled. And also for this to work, you need to have the scene optimizer enabled. You can turn scene optimizer on by tapping on this button. So once the scene optimizer is turned on, point your phone at the document that you want to scan and you will see the phone will automatically highlight the area that contains text. Just tap on the yellow button and then drag the corners to fine tune the scanning area. So that looks perfect and we're gonna tap on save. And that's it, our scan document is in the gallery. And if I double tap and zoom in, you can see it is crystal clear. All the text is easily readable. Now this is much better if we were to just take a photo. So this is just a photo of the document. You can see if I zoom in, the text is not that clear. Plus you have to manually crop the image. So using the document scanner feature, you do get better pictures of documents. So here is something very interesting. You can also extract text out of the document that you have just scanned. So this is the document that we just scanned. 
you will automatically see a little T icon over here. Just tap on the T icon and the phone will automatically detect the part which contains text. And now select the text that you want to copy. So for example, I want to copy this text, then tap on copy and you will be able to paste that text anywhere you want. So now I can open up Samsung Notes and paste the text that I copied from the image over here. So that is quite amazing. You can also paste the text inside WhatsApp. So I can go into WhatsApp, long tap and paste and I can send it over. So yeah, this is the text that we just extracted from the image. You can also extract text out of images while taking a screenshot using the smart select tool inside the edge panel. Let me show you how. So for example, you like some code and you want to send it over to your friend, but you want to send the text only, not the image. So check this out. I'll open up the edge panel and open up the smart select tool, which is this one. Then I will select rectangle and highlight the area that contains text. Press on done and select extract text. And as you can see, that will extract text out of the image, which I can copy and send it over wherever I want. So I can open up WhatsApp, long press, paste and send it over. So this feature is available in the edge panels in the smart select panel. Let me show you how you can get this. Drop down the notification panel, go to settings, tap on display, scroll down to edge panels, then tap on panels. Make sure that the smart select edge panel is enabled. If you don't have the smart select edge panel, go to galaxy store and download the smart select edge panel from over here. But I think Almost every Samsung phone has the smart select edge panel built right inside the phone. Alright, so I've taken some photos of a flower, but you don't really know what kind of a flower it is. Well, you can have the phone identify the type of flower for you. So open up a photo of a flower that you want to identify, then tap on the Bixby vision icon, which is the eye icon over here on the top right hand side corner. So there you go. The phone has automatically identified the type of flower inside the photograph. Now, one thing I have noticed is that on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, it doesn't really identify the flower. So if I tap on the eye icon, the purple flower with green leaves, it just describes the scene. So you have to enable that feature by tapping on these three buttons, going to settings, then enable discover and change this to the lens icon. And now it will show the name of the flower. So most likely it's going to be disabled. So you will have to enable it from the settings. So now, as you can see, it shows the name of the flower. Now this feature actually uses Bixby vision. So if you want to identify stuff in real time, you can open up Bixby vision itself. So open up your app drawer and just search for Bixby vision. Here it is. So this is Bixby vision. It's the exact same thing, but this identifies stuff in real time. So you've got the discover tab, which I've just shown you. This one also has scene describers. So you take a picture of a scene and you will hear a description of the scene. So for example, I'm going to capture this and check this out. A pair of yellow flowers. Then you've also got object identifier. Cell phone. It's got text reader. YouTube.com slash tech guy Charlie. And finally, color detector. Yellow. Dark bluish green. Orange. But one of the most amazing features of Bixby Vision is to translate text in real time. So we will switch this to translate. And here I've got a document that is in French. So what I'm going to do now is point the phone at the document and wait for it to translate. And as you can see, the phone will translate that text into English. How amazing is that guys? And this is happening in real time. Now, if you tap on the T button, that will allow you to extract text out of the document. So here, what I can do is select this text, copy it to the clipboard as it is. Otherwise, I can press the translate button. So that will translate the text into English. Now, if you press on the T button, that will read the text out aloud. So check this out. The effects of international trade on the environment result from the rapid and massive expansion of So this is actually quite fascinating. This is the same text that was on this document in French. We took a picture of this document, extracted the text, then translated it to English and now the phone is reading the text out aloud. Another thing that you can do is select this text, then copy and paste it wherever you want. So you can go to Samsung Notes, long tap and paste. Bixby Vision is such an underrated feature of Samsung phones. Another thing that you can do in Bixby Vision is tap on these three dots, go to settings, 
then enable the shopping tab. Now go back and select shopping. Then download the Amazon Assistant app and install. Alright, so once you have downloaded the Amazon Shopping Assistant, you can just point your phone at the product and it will search for that particular product on Amazon. So for example, this is a vase, I want to buy this. So what I can do is just point the phone at the product and it will search for that particular product on Amazon. So now just tap on view product with Amazon Assistant and it will search on Amazon. So this is the exact same vase that I've got. Tap on it and it will take you to Amazon. So check it out. Such an amazing tool, right guys? By the way, one thing that you should do on Amazon Shopping Assistant is tap on the gear icon and change the country region to where you live. Otherwise, it's going to spit out wrong results. But yeah, this is Bixby Vision on Samsung phones. Such an amazing feature. If you've got a low quality photo, then you can use a feature called Remaster Picture to fix the contrast and the colors. So how do you use this option? Well, open up the picture in the gallery, then tap on these three dots and then select Remaster Picture. Wait for the phone to analyze and remaster and then the phone will give you a before and after preview. So this is how the picture used to look like before and it will look like this after we remaster it. So that is actually substantial difference. So what we're going to do is press on the save button and the phone will save the picture as a separate copy. So here it is. And it will also tell you that the picture has been remastered. You see that logo over there? So yeah, this is a way you can fix low quality photos on your phone. And this feature, remaster photos, is actually quite new to the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It literally just arrived a couple of days ago. I think it was a feature of the Galaxy S21 series. So yeah, Samsung is finally adding these new features to these older phones. Have you guys ever accidentally cleared out all your notifications then later realized, hey, there might have been something important? Well, to solve this problem, you can enable a feature called notification history and that will keep a track of all your previous notifications. So here's what you gotta do. Drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Then tap on notifications, scroll down to advanced settings, then tap on notification history and just enable this feature. Mine is already enabled and here you can see the two notifications that I recently dismissed. So yes, you can enable this feature and check out all your previously dismissed notifications right over here. When it comes to pairing Bluetooth devices like Bluetooth headsets and Bluetooth speakers, I've seen many people fiddle with their devices trying to make them enter into pairing mode. But here's the thing, if your Bluetooth headset or the speaker comes with NFC, you don't need to fiddle with your device to make it enter into pairing mode. All you have to do is switch the device on and then just tap the back of your phone on the NFC logo, just like this. And you will see the phone will automatically connect to the Bluetooth headset. Absolutely no need of any manual pairing. And if you want to disconnect, again, tap the back of your phone onto the NFC area and the phone will disconnect from the Bluetooth headset. And the exact same thing also applies to Bluetooth speakers. Switch your Bluetooth speaker on, then locate the NFC logo. Just tap the back of your phone onto the NFC logo. And that is pretty much all there is to it. The phone will automatically connect to the Bluetooth speaker. Guys, if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note series phone, then you can use the button that is on the S Pen as the remote shutter button for the camera. So check this out. If you press and hold the button that is on the S Pen, that launches the camera. Now the S Pen is not just a simple shutter button for the camera. It does a lot more. So let me try and explain. First off, to take a picture, all you have to do is press the button once and that takes a picture. In addition to that, you can also switch the camera. So all you have to do is press the button and flick your S Pen up and that switches the camera from rear to front. Once again, to take selfies, you can just press this button and the camera will take a picture. Let's switch it back. You can also zoom in or out. If you press and hold the button and rotate your S Pen clockwise, that zooms in. If you want to zoom out, press the button and hold and rotate your S Pen counterclockwise. So that zooms out. And lastly, you can also switch between these camera modes. So press and hold the button on the S Pen and flick your S Pen from left to right or from right to left. So yeah, that is how you control the camera with your S Pen on a Galaxy Note series phone. Now for this feature to work, you must make sure that the S Pen air actions are turned on. So go to settings, scroll down to advanced features, then tap on S Pen, 
then tap on air actions and make sure this feature is enabled and if you want to launch the camera by holding down the button on the s pen make sure that this hold down pen button is set to camera and this feature is available on the galaxy note 9 the note 10 plus which is the one that i'm demonstrating on and the galaxy note 20 ultra now there are some limitations on the s pen of the galaxy note 9 Thing is, these older S Pens do not have an accelerometer and gyroscope. So you cannot do the gesture thingy like the way I was zooming in on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But you still have all the basic functionality. So if I press and hold the button on the S Pen, that will launch the camera. Pressing the button will take a picture. And lastly, double tapping the button will switch the camera. So you do have the basic functionality, but you will not be able to change the camera modes, nor you will be able to zoom in with this S Pen. So you do have some limitations, but yeah, all the basic functionality is still there. Lastly, guys, you can also use the S Pen to control the music player on your Galaxy Note. So press the button to play or pause the song. If you wanna increase the volume, Press and hold the button, flick your S Pen up and that increases or decreases the volume. If you want to go forward in a song, press the button and flick your S Pen from left to right and that will change to the next song. If you want to go to the previous song, press and hold the button and flick your S Pen from right to left and that will take you to the previous song. So yeah, the S Pen is so much more than a simple stylus. Alright everybody, that brings us to the end of the video and if you have enjoyed these tips and tricks, do make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on the video. Also, do make sure to check out all the videos on Samsung devices, I have plenty of video tutorials. And lastly, do make sure to follow me on my social media accounts, all of the links are in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.